organization was founded as such as an organization in 1982, but it really only started to flourish when I stopped teaching two years ago. And you could say that I started, founded the Meta Center, but really I think it founded me. Uh, it's an uh, organically growing, small, tight group, uh, which none of the things that I had in mind for it have happened, and everything that has happened is much better than what I might have had in mind. And the core of it is uh, people, the people who are in it that get together regularly in a very deep and open way, sharing the ideas that are they're most passionately concerned about, and tying those ideas to operations. So we don't just think, oh my God, wouldn't it be nice if, or this is the structure of things, but rather given that this is the structure of things, given that these are our resources, what are we going to do about it? And it's amazing what wonderful projects have come out of that. And we make a very concerted effort to operate on the principles that we're trying to teach, uh, you know, in inclusivity and trust and uh, transparency and things like that. And we find this working very well. And we find that it also exemplifies the th act locally, think globally uh, model because we get phone calls from all over the world. People are discovering little pieces, like for example, my nonviolence course that I taught on Berkeley is on the website. Well, more than 50,000 people have watched part of that course. And we get emails from li literally all over the world. People are stopping in internet cafes in Azerbaijan to, to watch the next lecture. We got an email last week from a very dear friend of ours sat right here in this room who was in Kabul. And she was having an interview the following day with Richard Holbrook, the special advice, uh, counselor, whatever he's called him. And so she emailed us and said, what do I tell him? So we were able to give him some very, you know, we have no political affiliation, no academic affiliation, <laughs> no money affiliation. <laughs> we can say what we want, and we don't care whether they like it or not. What we're trying to do now is create different packages of resources so that we can do this more efficiently, we are, from the get-go, which is now, we are committed to not, start, not losing our character. We are going to be what we are. We are going to be a small group of people that meets every Friday in this room and has breakfast after medita meditation, breakfast, and, and hope tank. That's going to stay. And all the personal contacts, the talking and stuff is going to stay. But we're also going to multiply the contacts with people from outside those circles who can use our information, and then we're going to try to get that information into usable packages for them. Now, our, mod, our um, mission statement, incidentally, is to inspire, educate, and support the practice of nonviolence. And we work with anyone, uh, provided they're nonviolent. <laughs> but we, we work in particular, we proactively work with educators, activists, and the media. Actually, activists most, educators second, and the media least.